Hi, this is Ashley with DDIY, and I am going to be walking you through and reviewing Originality AI. So stay tuned if you want to hear um, a little bit more about my experience with working with Originality AI, as well as kind of letting you see underneath the hood before you purchase their services. So Originality AI pretty much is an AI detector and a plagiarism checker all in one. Most of the time you see those surfaces separate, um, but with Originality AI, they've kind of made a combo for you. And their pricing for, you know, both of these services pretty much the lowest on the market, which is great. So what I'm going to do is kind of walk you through as I discuss some of the things that I like about it and some of the things I wish I could see uh, more of with this particular product. So the interface, as you can see, is super simple. You just click on New Scan and you copy and paste your text right in there. Now, I would like to see a document, you know, uploader, but it's super simple just to copy and paste. Now, what you're looking at right now is the AI detection score and a plagiarism score because I, you know, clicked on both of those check mark boxes. You don't have to do two different scans. It actually lets you do it all together in on the same page. So one of the things that I would actually like to see on this particular screen is just being a, that with the AI detection score, I'd like to get a little bit more information, like which parts of the text were actually AI generated um, and that sort of thing. Because if I'm getting something, if I've paid for a human written piece, but I'm still getting AI detection going on here, I can take that back to the author and say, hey, look, you need to, you know, remove this or, you know, change this up so that it's not AI detectable. Or on the reverse side of that, as an editor, being able to see which content I really need to zero in on that is coming back as, you know, being detected as AI. If I have that, then it kind of like helps me manage my time a little bit better as an editor. And so, yeah, I think just having um, a little bit more information on this particular screen uh, for the AI detection would be super helpful. As you can also see here on this screen is the plagiarism score. Of course, this particular one checked out just fine, which I wasn't really su surprised. I figured it would kind of pass. But if you did have um, some plagiarism pop up, this is where it would show. It would actually give you the website that's being plagiarized and the areas that are you know, plagiarized text so that you can go in and fix those. So before I move on to talk about the Google Chrome extension, um, I do also want to point out that Originality AI's um, AI detection tool, it's, it says that it is accurate up to 94% for finding, you know, chat GPT and GPT-3 and GPT-3.5. So that's a pretty great, you know, score as far as making sure that uh, that they detect AI content really well, um, which I think is a really great plus. Okay, so let's talk about the Chrome extension. And here I'm just sort of adding it in there. Um, it comes up on, you know, kind of like next to your address bar where the other extensions are. And it also shows up in your Google Docs. So if you use Google Docs a lot, this is a great little tool to have. My only problem is that it didn't actually work for me. Um, so I tried to update it and as you can see, it's kicking back this error message. I'm not really sure what happened with it and I didn't really see a way to get a hold of support to be honest. So um, I tried it a couple different ways. There is a little tab you can copy and paste into, um, but I thought that based on what I saw from that report, it looked pretty cool and I wanted to kind of see it in action. But unfortunately, it didn't really work out. So overall, I think Originality AI is definitely one of those tools that you should check out, especially if you want to make sure you get the combo of plagiarism checker and AI detector in one platform. Otherwise, most of the time you have things like Copy Space, which you know only has plagiarism, or you'll have Quillbot, which only has plagiarism. And then of course there are the free AI detecting tools, which like from Content at Scale and from Writer, those are all, you know, those are both free, but again, it's only for AI detection. Um, so Originality 
AI is really one of those things that if you need them and you're going to be using it regularly, if you need them together, then definitely give them a look and see if they can work out for you because the price is, you know, you can't really beat it. If you want to see more or read more rather, please do check out the companion review for Originality AI um, and I hope you have a great day.